a lot of our viewers might not yet be familiar with what it's like to be part of a contact trace. Can you sort of explain uh, the concept, I guess, basically, and the degree to which technology is helping this happen? Yeah, so um, contact tracing uh, has been around for a long time, um, and uh, and manual contact tracing um, is is the bedrock of uh, response to COVID, uh, both in Europe and everywhere. Um, and so, uh, digital contact tracing is is a is a pretty new concept. Um, so, uh, with digital contact tracing, uh, what happens is um, uh, you have an app which has Bluetooth running on it. And uh, if you pass by somebody else who also has the app with Bluetooth running on it, uh, the apps exchange random uh, random numbers, uh, which are stored only on the devices uh, for a period of 14 days, then they're deleted. Um, and so there's an, an anonymized way of uh, creating a link between two people, even though they don't know that that link has been created. Um, and so then if, if a person does actually uh, get a test and test positive, then uh, the, the ability is within the app then to notify um, uh, the other people that have been uh, close to that person. Right. How do you how do you evaluate uh, as a challenge both the privacy aspect, the notion that Americans especially are not going to be want to be traced in any form because of uh, longstanding distrust of institutions, but also I wonder if you think there's going to be a stigma to admitting that you have tested positive and whether that that's also a deterrent? Um, so with, with the app itself, uh, you know, we started working on this uh, back in March uh, in Ireland. And, and one of the key things that we, we had really had to think about was uh, uh, protecting users' data, protecting users' privacy. And, and so those concepts were baked in for the, from the very, very beginning. And, like, and, and, and so if you, if you install the app, um, everything that you do is opt-in. Uh, none of your data is shared. And, and so trust in, in, in this technology is really, really important. Um, the good news is that that the, the technology itself now at this point, uh, tens of millions of dollars have been invested in building this uh, platform that we're rolling out in, in the US. Um, and, um, and there are multiple uh, independent uh, security reviews of the technology, uh, which point to the fact that the app doesn't actually expose anybody's private data. Uh, it doesn't capture your GPS coordinates. It doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. So all the information is up there. Um, and it, it's really, at this point, it's a, it's a thing about saving lives. It's, it's a thing about protecting uh, both yourself, but also the people that you love, the people that you meet every day. Um, and so, you know, that, that's really the, uh, the core point with the, with the app. Keen, despite those privacy protections, using technology to do the actual contact tracing has fallen far short of expectations or perhaps hopes, and that's because not enough people are participating. Why is that? I mean, are the privacy protections, do folks just not believe that they're good enough, or is it just that these apps haven't been marketed the right way? I, I think it's a it's a thing that this, this is, um, uh, you know, uh, this is going to be a, a thing that's going to take time. So, you know, in 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 Ireland, for example, uh, we had we had quite a bump when the app was launched. We got quite a number of people install the app, but then over time, week on week, uh, you know, people started to to share the app with their friends, and the numbers started to climb up. So it's it's one of those things that it's going to take time. It's going to take, you know, a couple of months uh, to to get the adoption numbers up, um, and it, it really is 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 something that. You know, um, people have to realize that it's not about, you know, it's, it's about protecting each other. Um, and so it, it'll take a bit of time. I mean, that, that, that's the, the big thing with it. It's not going to just, everyone isn't going to install it in, in, in the same day or, or in the first week. You know? Right. But Keen, how much time do we have? I still remember when the Apple Google contract tracing technology was announced and hailed as, you know, the best technology equipped also the best in terms of exposure. Everyone has either an iPhone or an Android phone, nearly everyone. Yet months later, only I believe 14 states are using the Apple Google technology. Why is that? How much time do we really have here? Well, I, I think the thing that you have to remember is that the, the technology, uh, you know, uh, was a, almost a kind of a raw technology that, that was enabled within iOS and Android, but actually the, the, the job then was to build, um, you know, apps for citizens in, in, in various locations. 
uh, on top of that technology. And so that's taken a bit of time. It's taken time to test the system. It's taken time to roll all, all, the, all, all the new features in. Uh, to remove any bugs or, or issues that were happening at an early stage, and, and so the, the good news is that the, the actual the platform, the technology now is is ready to scale. Um, it's just a matter of of actually trying to drive adoption across the US and and uh, you know to get everybody right. thinking about um, you know uh, installing it on their phones. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.